Well, waking up to a little bit of a wet morning here. Uh, I've been at this camp for a few days. Uh, my buddy Nate came up and camped out for a couple days. That was really cool. Uh, really enjoyed hanging out around the campfire, playing some uh, guitar. I recently acquired an acoustic guitar. I treated myself. That was kind of a treat after the Alaska job. I had sold my acoustic guitar when I first moved into my van five years ago and regretted it right away. So it's nice to have one again, getting back into practicing and learning how to play the dang thing. So uh, yeah, it's time to move out of here. I've been here for a few days. Uh, my tags expired on the van, so I was able to get my new tags forwarded out to the post office in North Conway. They're in, they came in yesterday, so I'm gonna go pick those up and uh, probably just move on from here. I'm gonna pack up camp. Got a few things out here. I've been kind of just leaving my water jugs and stuff out even when it rains. So I'll uh, take a towel, dry those off, get them packed up. Probably go down by the stream one more time just to uh, get a little taste of that. It's been really nice to wake up in the mornings and just go hang out by the stream, have my coffee. So I'll take a little walk down there. Yeah, and here we are. This has been awesome. This has been my little serenity spot. I've been spending a lot of time in the mornings over on this rock here. I just hang out, have my coffee there. And there's a little swimming hole right here. It's probably about three feet deep, just deep enough to uh, be able to fully submerge and cool off and get washed up. It's just been awesome here. Love it. Okay, we are pulling out of here. I will say it's been very nice being in complete shade with the last few days of pretty high heat. But it is a little weird being like in this little dark hole. You can see as I pull out, it's like, oh, daylight. So because of that, I've had no sun on my solar panels, but I do have a pretty good sized battery bank. So I've, my batteries are still good, even after three days. Oh, of course, I haven't mentioned this yet. My fridge kind of is having problems. I have a little Dometic 12 volt uh, CF18 fridge and I believe something's wrong with the thermostat because it just stays on. Normally it cycles to maintain a certain temperature. And even at the lowest setting now, it just runs and runs and runs, so everything freezes. So I need to do some research. Hopefully I can replace a thermostat or something because those fridges aren't cheap. I've, ha I've had it for five years though. It's been running for five years straight. So uh, I guess that's good. I was hoping it would continue to run longer. And again, it's not the problem that it's not running. It's a problem that it's not shutting off. So I'm hoping I can find a part and replace it myself. So here we go. All right, we're going through the town of Conway, New Hampshire. Not to be confused with North Conway. It's a little bit more mellow in Conway. North Conway is pretty much a tourist trap. It is really beautiful country out here. Looks like I'm going to be cutting west on uh, Route 112, the Kangamangas Highway. Uh, I just pulled over to read this information board on the Kangamangas Highway. You can pause that and read it if you'd like. Same with the bottom portion. Looks like it was constructed in 1959. Oh, it looks like we got some fresh pavement on this portion of the highway. Very nice. This is a very scenic drive through here. It looks like there's quite a few hiking trails you can pull over and uh, hike. Day use areas, picnic areas, uh, lots of pay campgrounds. You can definitely spend some time up here exploring and hiking. Fortunately, I'm pressed for time, so I gotta continue west. Just crossed into Vermont. Goodbye, New Hampshire. Hello, Vermont. Welcome by some cornfields here. Oh, 
Well, we kind of blew right through Vermont. We are crossing right into New York State. Goodbye, Vermont. Hello, New York, the state of opportunity. I actually did spend the night in Bennington, Vermont last night. Uh, I met up with a friend, uh, hung out and visited for the evening, got some dinner, and I just slept in the van in a parking lot there. So I didn't really document that, just wanted to be able to spend some quality time with a friend. It was a really good visit. Hope to see her again. Look at this old railroad bridge. But for now, it is time to move on. We're approaching a holiday weekend, so I'm gonna head up towards Lake George, New York. Try to find a camp there. Hopefully I can beat the weekend crowds, secure a spot. Just relax for the weekend. Looking forward to it. Away we go. All right, we're hitting those dirt roads. Oh, I will be totally honest. I am so looking forward to be out of cell range. I just need to disconnect. Really do appreciate all your guys' positive support and comments and interaction. But I tell you, every now and then, you just got to totally unplug. Huh. Is this a road down here? Just a trail. Road open to motor vehicle use. Let's go check it out. What do we got here? Register here. All right. Looks like there's camping down here. Let's go check it out. I hope no one comes up. It's going to be a tight squeeze. Thank you. Yeah, there is camping down here. Rough campsite number one, not much to it. It's pretty tight down here. Wow, this is neat in the woods. I'm gonna go ahead and pull on this little spot. It looks like pretty much all of these little designated spots has one little spot for a vehicle to park, and it's really more set up for tent camping. You go walk, I'm gonna go for a little walk here and see what this one has to offer. But uh, yeah, pretty much just parked right off the side of the road in a very small, very small little pull off. Barely just enough room for the van. Let's go look around, see what it looks like. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this a camp for the night. This is an interesting area here. Looks like there are uh, definitely more than a few hiking trails along here. Seeing a lot of people in here, what looks like for just day use, going for hikes and that. Uh, and then, like I mentioned, uh, there are three kind of choice spots that have a nice big area right near where your vehicle is that would be a little bit more suited for van style camping. Mostly set up for tent camping. And we'll go ahead and give you a shot of what it looks like up at the tent area. It's just a very short walk from your vehicle. So you're not too far. You can actually and be able to see the van from up at near the tent camping spot. Just walked up this hill a little ways. And coming up to the top of the little hillside here, there's a nice big rock fire ring. That would probably be the choice spot for a tent. Kind of level over there. There is some signage. We are at campsite number three and they have an emergency contact number. Accident, illness, loss, wildfire, illegal activities. Although there is no cell signal out here, so I don't know what good that does. And then a little bit of information about black bears being in the area for safety there. And then this is kind of an interesting deal. It's got its own little outhouse. And it's nice and cool in the trees here. We had a little bit of a heat wave the last couple days, so it's nice to be in nice cool temps. I'll take it. Well, check it out. I came across one of these little baby red salamanders again. The last time I saw these, I was in New York State. Neat. Did get a, quite a few comments. They're like, it's not red, it's orange. They actually turn a dark red as they mature. They're just more this orange color when they're babies. I think it's uh, commonly called a spotted red salamander because these little black dots actually get more uh, pronounced once they mature. Neat little guy, I'll show you how small he is. Tiny, right?
Hey buddy. Oh, there he goes. And yet another one. I've probably counted a dozen of these so far. Oh, there he goes. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know there was a lot of driving in this one, but that's what I've been up to. I am heading to my next seasonal job in North Dakota, so I'm kind of having to put on the miles. I uh, didn't time things out quite as well as I should have, so I'm moving a little quicker than I would hope to, but that's what's going on. In regards to my last video, I just wanted to give a big thank you to everyone out there that uh, just so much positive feedback and support. I really appreciate you guys. I feel like we have a really, really good thing going on here. And, um, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of really good things on the horizon. I've just kind of been getting the nudge, you know, from the universe that it's time for the next step and the next chapter of this whole adventure. So I just needed to get that off of my chest. Uh, I felt like I was kind of keeping a lot of things inside and kind of faking that everything was okay and uh, just... It, kind of started to feel like I was acting in these videos and that's something that I don't want to do. So again, a big thank you and I just kind of wanted to mention as well, um, I'm not going at this totally alone guys. I've got of course all of your guys' support but also I have someone very very special in my life. My friend Judy, we've been friends for over 10 years and we've been through a lot together. Uh, we really love and try to support each other and I just wanted to give a big thank you to her as well. Uh, Judy, I love you and I just am so grateful for your support. Uh, we talk on almost a daily basis on the phone and without those daily conversations uh, I can't say that I would have made it as far as I've had I have without her. So again, thank you. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. So I'll be catching up with you in the next video. Doing a lot of moving like I said, but trying to hit some good spots uh, in the meantime. I did get an overwhelming amount of emails uh, in regards to my last video. I received over 200 emails already, so I am just knocking out those one by one. Uh, so please be patient with me. I will be getting back to you if you emailed me soon. I hope you guys are all doing well out there, and we'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Peace.